Discovery Charter School encourages students how to think, not what to think, and through integrated place-based curriculum, students engage in hands-on learning, critical thinking skills, and collaborate with community partners. And through this, they become environmental and community stewards. So with place-based education, we take students out into either the National Park out on trail or into the community and we are able to connect their curriculum to hands-on learning in those specific locations. When we go out on trail, we're able to tie in science standards and history standards, um, even math standards, to help the students connect more to what they're learning and make it applicable to everyday life rather than just staying in the classroom. We set expectations for our students. We more so provide positive affirmation when working with students rather than focusing on the negatives. Um, we really like to build students up to feel empowered to make their choices. Students also do learning experiences. Typically learning experiences are once a month and they will go out somewhere local to this area. Third grade this year went to Chesterton and learned about the history of Chesterton, how it came to be. Um, and they did a walking tour as well as going to the Westchester Museum. It's been amazing. I have, I have really loved the hands-on teaching style along with the hikes and learning experiences. It's been a great experience for me. Being located next to Indiana Dunes National Park is really unique and special. The Dunes National Park ranks at it's like number seven for biodiversity, so we have tons of different species of plants and animals, making it a pretty unique hotspot. We get to be in the National Park every week and talk about how special that is to be in a school that's right next to the National Park. It really creates an awesome experience and opportunity for our students. I just really like how you can like be in nature and like kind of connect with the outside and still learn outside of a teaching environment. We've done hikes where we're looking at patterns and then we can also do different kind of research while we're out on the trail where they're given how many organisms can we find under this log in this area versus another and we can work on some math problems. What's the average amount of slugs we find in the different areas? I would say it's definitely a more relaxed environment that um, we have the freedom and the opportunity to take our classrooms outside to do lessons, even utilizing our outdoor classroom for a lesson that we could easily do at our desk. But being able to be outside, having the students get the fresh air, the sunshine, it can really impact how they're intaking that information. I really love that I get to see students grow through their time here. So working with them from kindergarten through eighth grade and see their love for the environment grow during their time and just fostering a love of nature with them and helping them to build those connections is one of my favorite things. Yeah, it's awesome. It's just really awesome. It's, it's a good school.